Uh, I'm going to South America, Venezuela initially. When do you go? Uh, middle of August, 15th. Yeah. And how long are you going to be away for? Uh, two years. Two years. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to go work. I'm going to be a teacher. What sort of accommodation are you going to stay in? Uh, a nice apartment. Nice apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's going to be a nice apartment. Okay. start my new job and as you can see facial hair mm, as much as I love it I don't think they will so today we are going to cut the hair ah. first step I will keep filming no I'll be taking some photos of the progress It hasn't seen that long ago since I had to pack up all my stuff in here. This time I'm not going to show you the running of me packing up, sorting it all out. I have hopefully sorted out everything. Ignore the boxes at the back, they're not actually mine. But we start off with clothes, jumpers, work stuff, t-shirts, trousers and shorts, running stuff, some boxes and socks. Shoes. Now I realise I have too many shoes, but I have left some behind. And there's still another pair or two that need to be put in there. I need my boots and my trail shoes. Would normally be it, but as some of you know, Venezuela is currently having a few problems. So I've been told to stock up, bring some essentials. Now. This is difficult. I don't really know what essentials mean. So I have gone and bought a lot of things. Went into Boots the other day and the guy was a bit shocked about everything that I was buying. So let me just give you a, a run through. Freezer bags, always important. Mosquito net. Now, food, I've been told there's not a lot, but I'm sure you can get stuff. This is what I've been told, but just to start me off, Pasta, rice. Now the flour is more not for food, but Play-Doh. We all love Play-Doh. And then food colouring. Now I do love a good curry, so I have bought some curry paste. I cannot wait. Got some peri-peri, you know, flavour the food. Now toiletries. Wasn't really sure, so we have bought an awful lot of toiletries. All important toilet roll. And then we've got my normal general stuff. Books, shaver, books, books, some school stuff, some school books, some resources. There's a few other bits, but I think that's it. And uh, I'm gonna pack it up now and hope that I have everything that I need. All right, let's go. Time to leave. Very tasty. Already, I lost my things here. Mm -hmm. Cars outside. Bags are in it. Pretty sad. 
always coming and going, leaving, saying goodbye. But, oh well, that is the life of uh, someone that works abroad. You have to say bye a lot. But, never for too long, actually. It's a bit weird at the time as well, saying bye. Because there's no one here. We've all had to go to work. So, it's sort of a lonely scene for a while. Let's pop that through the little box. Right, let's get on the adventure. Goodbye house. And this is the car. Off to Leighton Buzzard. Back where I grew up. Actually in my secondary school. This is Cedars. It's quite a big campus, can't really see it all, but they have now got some Astro Turf. And I am about to go play some football. It's been a while. So let's see how it goes. So today I'm with Nick and uh, he's on a mission to get some balloons to a place called Silly Joe's. Let's go see if they've got some balloons. Okay, Matt, let's go. Hold it there. Yeah, I've decided that I'm not massive. Look, this is how I've got them all. Five centimetre bubble. Ray Band, you can get them all, can't you? After 10 minutes, we have a sort of bear. Right, past 24 hours in the UK and Actually, to be precise, just leaving the hotel. I need to go drop the car off and then head to the terminal. Heathrow, Terminal 4. Here we are. The sun is just coming up. I'm on time. Let's go. 